James Skurlock's father says Douglas County Prosecutor Don Klein dehumanized his son. The Skurlock family says they will continue an investigation, even possible civil suits to get closure on the May 30th shooting. 3 News Now reporter Kent Lutzen has the latest after a week of press conferences. We are going to get to the bottom of it. James Skurlock's father, along with attorney Justin Wayne, make it known they're still looking for answers to what happened that night in Old Market. We obviously can't bring criminal charges. Uh, we believe that all criminal events that happened that night should be prosecuted. Um, but we will we will pursue all civil civil remedies at this point. Wayne says their own investigation starts next week with interviewing witnesses and combing through social media posts made the night Jake Gardner and James Skurlock cross paths. He adds they are not pleased with the work nor the comments made earlier this week by Douglas County Attorney Don Klein. James Skurlock was, was committing a felony. He broke into a building, uh, tore property up, broke out the windows there uh, just immediately prior to where he went to the hive. Skurlock's father says Klein's comments were unethical and cowardly. Wayne agreed, adding the grand jury's decision declared James Skurlock a victim. That is the most tragic comment I ever heard from a prosecutor about a victim. Klein says his comments were not unethical, rather relevant on who he believes was the first aggressor on the night Skurlock was shot. He also says bringing up Skurlock's background is just as important as bringing up Gardner's. The Skurlock family feels justice has not been served, even questioning if Gardner actually died by suicide. When you have a prosecutor in the state that you kill somebody and advocate for you from the beginning, their police escort you to the police station and out of town on a flight, no, I will not believe that suicide until I see documentation from my investigators. In Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now. Wayne says he will fully believe Gardner is dead when the case is closed after Special Prosecutor Fred Franklin receives a death certificate. And we have more reaction to the James Skurlock case on our website, 3newsnow.com. That's where you can find all of our coverage.